Ensemble joins us from Denver, Colorado. Please welcome the Blue Knights Percussion Ensemble. Music, motion, and passion. This activity is based off of percussion, you know, and the music that percussion allows. Instead of just standing still and playing music, we are moving around creating different forms that might be representative and related to the music. <laughs> The goal is to be the best playing ensemble in the world. The very best performers in the area come to the Blue Knights because they know that that's the highest level they can perform. We're perhaps the only outlet in the Rocky Mountain region for just that. A basic percussion ensemble in the activity nowadays consist of a front ensemble, which is your marimbas, vibraphones, xylophones, a drum set player, percussion instruments that you can't march, basically. The drum line consists of the basses on kind of the low end drum sound, the quads, which is the mid-range drum sound, and then the snares, which is the high-pitched, raspy voice. We also have a cymbal line with the marching drum line that marches around with hand cymbals. This year for Blue Knights is the second year of a brand new staff. We've put a lot of demand on our performers. In my opinion, this is the most demanding show Blue Knights has ever done. We start learning our show in December, January, and February, and we usually start competing at actual performances in March and April. And it all leads up to the big dance out in Dayton, Ohio for our national competitions. Every ensemble out there is, you know, is going for the gold. The best drum lines in the world converge on Dayton each year. And we're fortunate enough to have always placed amongst the very top of, of those ensembles. They're in the hunt again for a, a national championship. Being in this ensemble is about practicing about three or four hours a day. Sometimes that's not always able to happen with everybody. The hard part about this ensemble is making sure that you have time to dedicate, you know, to practice. In drumming and, and percussion techniques is a lot about muscle memory and developing the muscle memory through sheer repetition. They have to set themselves up to come to rehearsal to be able to execute the things we're asking them to. When we, when we tell them that it could be better and that we should do it one more time, they, they know that that's the truth of the matter. And then when we tell them to do it again and again and again, each time they understand why. If I want to see teeth and I want to see aggression. All right, let's do that again. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Again, again, reset and add three bars. That's why this ensemble is, is going to be amazing, because these kids desire to be pushed. I just want you to like, look like you're powering down and just hang in there. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. Everybody check out moves. Five, six. Getting the opportunity to play like perfectly in time with your best friends and like feeling that energy every time you 
march around, you feel somebody walking around you, you feel their energy. You're absorbing theirs, they're pushing theirs out, you're pushing your energy out, everybody's taking yours in. It's just like this crazy feeling that you get. And everybody's watching you go through it.